everybody. It's David with PringlePhoto.com. I just want to go over an app that has been on the front of the App Store for uh, pretty much every day since it's been uh, introduced. Uh, in Light, if you've seen it, is a very good photo tool. It's a little intimidating at first because some of the tools are not obvious as to how they're laid out. Uh, it takes a little bit of playing, but Hopefully I can help you understand that just a little bit better. I'm going to open it up now. It'll show you the last image that you are working with. Um, so I'm going to actually make a different choice. If you notice at the bottom, you've got a little thumbnail slider. Uh, it's very similar to Lightroom. You can look at all the photo photos inside of a folder. And if the folder name is at the bottom. It says Favorites. Uh, if you drag the bar up, you get to work with your sessions that you've been working with in uh, in light in the past uh, few times that you've been in. I believe 10 is the default. It automatically saves the sessions so that you can come back and edit the photos at any time uh, with all of your undos still intact. And then under that you have my albums where you can pick with what you're going to work with. I'm going to stay in my photos, uh, my favorites folder. And I'm going to grab this image. So a little fold down tab. I was working on it a few moments ago and I was just playing around with some of the settings. So I'm gonna hit the back button and take me all the way back to the original image. Uh, the undo button, like I said, is completely um, intact every time you work with it. And now I've taken it back to the original image. I had only done one adjustment to it before uh, and I wanted to show you that I could re restore it from a session. So uh, the main parts of this app are kind of hidden. Um, and it's confusing because this bar at the bottom changes function. So I wanted to kind of explain everything and I'm gonna hide a few things just to start. So what we have here on the screen, top left is the Enlight button brings up your settings. Then you also have a camera, a share button, and your menu button is at your top right. Your tools are actually hidden inside of each of these little buttons. It's not obvious uh, what you're actually working with. So inside of the canvas menu we have crop, skew, and refit. If you notice that the icon to the left of canvas is a little brighter than all the rest. That tells you the top of the menu. It's not very clear. I wish they would clear that up. Uh, it's very confusing to start with. So what you have here uh, are all your different adjustments that you can make. Filters, very much um, like what you do with Instagram. You have tools where you can mix several photos together. You have a heel brush, a tilt shift. You also have some ways of doing some artistic adjustments, such as making it a painting, a sketch, or applying um, like an urban feel to your photo. And brushes where you can doodle on the image with an, a pen or with effects. And text, different types, including meme, decals, and so on and so forth. And finalize gives you the option for borders and uh, collages and frames. InstaFit's my favorite because it allows you to save the photo in a square format for Instagram without making you crop it. So that's a great tool if you have an image that you just can't crop because you want the photo in its entirety. So uh, one of my favorite tools uh, inside of this app. Now I'm gonna choose image, adjust, and now you'll see that the bottom has changed. It's no longer photos that you can choose from to work with. Instead, it's thumbnails of different um, filters that it's applied to it. So what I'm gonna do is choose Vivid, and that seems to be pretty good. It's 91% pl applied, you can see on the uh, highlighted Vivid uh, icon in the bottom left there. I'm gonna drag to the left and pull that out just a bit because it's a little over applied. So you have control, very basic control uh, over the tools right on the page. But if you wanna go into more detail, if you look at the bottom, it says presets, tools, and mask. Tools gives you all the different tools that you're gonna work with. Basic is your brightness and contrast, exposure, and so on and so forth. You touch the one you want, it turns purple. That lets you know what you're working with. So if I'm working with contrast, you'll see it's purple. I'm gonna hit tools, comes back to tools. You also uh, touch details here. And now you can adjust the structure and the sharpening, so on and so forth. 
Um, you can choose color where you can increase your saturation, change your hue, temperature, tint, or pick a neutral gray color to try to neutralize an image. You have split toning. You can select that your darks will be one color and your highlights will be another color. You can play around with that um, and try to come up with something very interesting. And come back out the tools here, you also have curves where you can control the image as if you were working in Photoshop. You can apply points, change your curve, uh, and get the exact tone you're looking for. If you're familiar with working in uh, curves in Photoshop, it's very similar. If I wanted to keep it, I would choose the check mark on the right. If I want to get rid of it, I choose the X on the left. So I'm going to click adjust one more time to go back in here. I'll pick, pick uh, Vivid again. Tools, I just showed you those. And Mask is on the right side. Let's say I went in here in, tool, in Tools and I did some really uh, funky saturation or temperature change, something like that. Okay. Uh, if that is the look that I'm looking for for everything else in the image, but one particular thing, I can choose mask and wipe is automatically highlighted. If you look at the right, 75% is the strength of the brush that I'm going to be using. So I'm just going to paint out the boat here. And the red that you're seeing is not a, not a mask like in Photoshop. That's actually the adjustment that I took to the extreme. Now, I'm not doing any fine tuning here. You're just seeing me work it better because I want to show you what it does. It just wipes it away. You can hit apply and put it back in. Same adjustment that you have everywhere else. Uh, you can choose to fill the entire image or you can choose to clear the entire image, in which case it removes the filter that you are working with. Um, so the mask gives you a strong ability to make adjustments to one part of the image and go back and reduce it in another part of the image. All part of helping you to uh, create the image that you're looking for. So again, everything is buried inside these. There's no real easy way to mark which or to understand which one is under which tool, except for the slight difference between the color of the icon. So if you touch a few things and move around, eventually you'll figure out which ones are which. I just wanted to let you know you won't hurt anything if you try it. You can always click the X, come back out, and start over. So uh, I'll go over more in another video. I just wanted to give you a quick start on how this works. I hope it uh, helped you a little bit. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Thanks.